there is a definite irony in the fact that I'm about to play a game where the main focus is avoiding capture by police chasing you in their cars and helicopters. And there is currently a police helicopter swarming basically over my house. And there's police cars flying past and sirens in the distance. Need speed carbon shit just got real, yo. Hello racing gamers and welcome back to Bomber Sports Plays and uh, we're today starting a brand new series. I know I like to do that but I'm going to try going forward to do a sort of two videos a week roughly and a sort of two series at a time sort of thing. I like doing games consistently, I like doing career modes and um, well, I've got a few on the way. Hopefully uh, by September the two series will be Formula 1 2016 and NASCAR Heat Evolution but in the meantime we've got some time to kill and I've got some games I want to play. Chief among which is this one, which I'm sure, if you're my generation, you will recognize already. This is Need for Speed Carbon. My good friend Dre, uh, co-host on the Motorsport 101 podcast, which you should totally check out if you haven't already, posted up a photo on his Instagram of some PlayStation 2 games he got, because he's just got back into his PlayStation 2, and he showed a copy of Need for Speed Most Wanted, and one of his friends commented and was like, dude, Carbon is way better, and I was like, Someone else agrees with me because I've been pilloried for saying that Carbon is better than Most Wanted. But I preferred this game a lot more over Most Wanted. I played a bit of Most Wanted, didn't really feel it. I don't know why, I wasn't really a big fan of the police pursuits, wasn't really a fan of the setting. I thought the colour palette was a bit dull. A lot of the stuff that I loved about Underground 2 had gone away. I don't know. But with Carbon, my love came right back. I mean, this was a game that I probably played this Need for Speed game the second most of all of them behind Underground 2. It's on a, on a par with the original Underground in the amount I played it. And this, I'd say, is one of the best Need for Speed games, uh, particularly of that generation, that sort of underground era, which started obviously with Underground, Underground 2, Most Wanted, Carbon, kind of ended with Pro Street, which was just horrific. It was, oh, what a bad game to end that kind of thing on. And then it all splintered off, and they made stuff like The Run, and the Shift games, which were great, and I've sort of lost track after that. But this was the last Need for Speed game that I really, really loved and put a lot of time and effort into. Enough talking. Let's get into it, shall we? Let's jump into the career mode. What I like to do uh, in this career mode is because there's a big emphasis on story this time around, but it follows on from the end of uh, Most Wanted, which I didn't play to the end, obviously. So in all these cutscenes, they're all relating back. Look at this, moody cutscenes. They're all relating back to what happened in Most Wanted, and you're the same guy from that game, and look, the same car, that BMW M3. But for me, I never was invested in it. So when I started playing this game, I thought I was a new character. And then when everyone started making references to, oh, you should never have skipped town, man, two years ago, man, you screwed us over. Blah, blah, blah. I, it just didn't make any sense to me. I was like, what, what is everyone talking about? The whole thing is centered around this race that happened like two years ago. And then something happened with a red bag, which I'm convinced was actually the money in the bank briefcase. I actually stole someone's contract. That's why Damien Sandow never cashed in. But I still like to play the game as if I'm not the, you know, as if the main character in the actual game like I'm just me and what's happening is either a massive case of like the born identity like I'm just I've suffered a massive bout of amnesia probably a power sliding into a wall like that um, or like a massive case of mistaken identity like everyone thinks I'm this other guy who was in this race and everything and, and I'm like actually no I'm not that guy can you stop talking now what, what are you talking about so that's how I like to play the game but yeah this is the whole setup something happened here some they get electrocuted, including the 1970 Dodge Charger, which, correct me if I'm wrong, does not have an ECU, does not have many electronic components on it at all, and surely would not be affected by one of those buzzy things that was just a rip off of those things from Too Fast, Too Furious. Yes, I remember that film. So yeah, that's the setup for the story. Two years ago, a thing happened, and that's what led you to go to the city in Most Wanted, and now you're coming back because stuff happened in Most Wanted. And obviously at this point, I'm just like, I, I think I skipped this cutscene, so I was like, what on earth's going on? Well, Corvette appeared. Corvette used V8. It was super effective. Corvette used RAM. It didn't really affect BMW at all. Guess who's back? Finally, we're going to get into some gameplay. Now, I always played the PS2 version back in the day, so, but I, I got a copy on PS3 this time for because HD, and it, it really benefits from it. And away we go. Oh, yeah. Escape from Cross. Even though this is a supposed to lose fight, so you won't. Whoop. Oh, come on. Oh! Ow! Ow! Definitely not going to escape from Cross doing that. If, there was a, if there's a fail state in this first in this first bit, I'll, I'll... Oh, God, that's a tight corner. Not doing a... Not a good start here. Oh, God. He's... Oops. First gear is not going to get away from anything, let alone a Corvette. He could be pursuing me in a mini-metro. 
on. I think I remember using the handbrake a lot more, but I'm, I'm playing it on wheel. Back in the day, I always played it on pad. But I'm like, sorry, I'm going to play it on the wheel this time. Here we go. Through loads of roadworks. And somehow the roadworks deny you. Look at this. Roadworks can't stop me. But a sodding great lorry full of pipes on it probably can. Which has now stacked it. And they're now going to crush your car. Are they? Well, he's really caught between a pipe and a cross place. Sit down. All right. How you been? I, I've been good. It's time to settle a little score from Rock. From from where? Who's, who's this guy? You see what I mean? At this point, the questions are already piling up. Uh, excuse me. This this guy just tried to crash Don't me off the road in a Corvette. For your help, Croc. Yeah. What makes you think you can bounty hunt Silverton without my approval? Yeah. Yeah. Cross. You tell him. And this guy's from out of town. Yeah, you're damn right. I'm from Dartford, motherfucker. What's his bounty? 150k. Wow. David. I swear I wasn't that much worth that much on FIFA when I did the create a player so, career thing. That's what you've been up to. What? What playing FIFA? Oh, here so. Why have you got such a chiseled chin? Have you seen this guy's chin game? Look at it. Thank you. Uh, it should be interesting. Why? Because who's she? Who? What? What the? Jesus Christ, woman! What are you? What? Why are you? Pit what? Wait. Why are people running up trying to slap me? What have I done? It was him! He was trying to crash me off the road, the prick! I wasn't doing anything! Oh, what do you want, chin face? Things have been getting a little too close for comfort around here with all these crews battling for new territory. Have they? I think I could use someone with your skills to help me out. Okay, now we're talking again. I see things. I bailed you out of a serious jam twice now. What? Time for you to return the favor. Or does that mean Nikki? Was that one of the bailings out? What do you say you show your old friend the ropes? Get show You're my. Joking, oh, right? did you not realise the kinkiness in that line? A better idea. Look at her. She realises. She's like, no, no, I, I hate this man. Why are you asking me to? No, I'm not cool with this. Doesn't look like she's cool with that either. Don't You're all right then, me. chin man. Get off. Not Go away now. Yeah, stop it. Shut up. Fly now. Hello, nice woman. You, you seem to know me, uh, but I don't know you, so I think I should introduce myself. I'm Adam Johnson. No, not that one. Hey, it's Jack Black. It's not actually Jack Black. Up. Yeah, yeah, sure, Nikki. Hey, uh, who's the third wheel? Doesn't matter. Oi. Darius Ain't no third wheel, fat zone. Pick one, whichever one you want. Oh, okay. Hey, if, uh, if I like this whole being mistaken for someone else. I mean, People I, give I me free stuff. Not, although I am partial to the one with the sweet rims. Why don't you just make sure the tanks are filled? That's great. I'm the monkey. <laughs> he represents the underappreciated, downtrodden working class in this game. Now, here we go. Here's an example of the uh, the three types of car. You know, I was talking about before. You've got the exotic, which apparently is now from Obrera. That that counts as exotic, apparently. Maybe exotic for Dagenham. Uh, Mazda RX-8 in the tuners. Yeah, that's a bit better. And um, mm -hmm. now um, I'm going to I'm going to do a little quiz for you. Uh, question one. Which car do you think I picked to start the game when I played this first time round, when I was uh, 15 or 16? Correct! Right answer! Question two. What car do you think I'm going to pick this time? Correct again! <laughs> Muscle baby. I don't know what just happened to my voice. Oh, fuck. I've just spilled a load of coke across my room. Crew? Wingman? What? Am I in a nightclub? Maybe this is something that started in a nightclub. Oh, wingman you in the club, man. Why don't you wing me, wingman me in the next race? Oh, okay. What, you want to pull the driver you're going to beat? Or? No. Okay. What? Oh. Yeah, I got it by pressing one button on my steering wheel, supposedly, in this 1967 Camaro. It's so good. Oh, the sound. Oops. What, like that? <laughs> oh, okay. What? Right, um, what's going on here? Oh, okay. Right, there we go. <laughs> Charge, good smack. That's a bit unfair. He had a 300C. And you've got a 4GT. 
Ah, a class that I kind of really didn't understand. Well, I mean, blockers didn't make much sense, because you spend all this money on your really nice fast car, and then you're prepared to trash it just to help your mate win a race. I mean, that is loyalty and friend zoning right there. Drafting I didn't understand either. Look at this. Right. Oh, I'm getting such a speed boost. Yeah. Oh, look at the speed. But, I mean, it would make sense if most of the roads were straight, but they're not. Look, they're really twisty. So, I don't really understand what the point of that. Ah, the scout. Now, this is what I always used all the time, because this was kind of the cheap way of getting through the game, because the scout by nature would generally have to be out in front of you, which she's not. Come on, you're going you're to pass me. You are supposed to be scouting ahead here, lady. Get, go on. Do you want to... There you go. You're not doing much scouting from behind me, are you? And... Yeah, the scouts kind of find all the shortcuts for you now, which I think is quite nice. But the fact is, they generally end up rubber banding, so they're always in front of you. So, and the way the game works is that even if your wingman wins the race for you, it still counts. Like, it still counts as a win for you. So, I always thought that was kind of weird, but hey. No wonder the career mode in this game was, like, you could beat the game in like four hours. And three and a half of those were attempting the very final race, which is where, as far as I got before, throwing my controller out the window when I was a teenager. Yeah, but the tutorial is done. We've gone through completely random cutscenes. All right then, bitch. You could say I was wasting my time on you, bitch. Let's go find some trouble. All right, fat man, let's go. By trouble, do you mean we're just gonna go and hold up a burger joint? Or like I did one time when I was a bit drunk and I went into a service station, I went to a gas station and got really confused trying to buy Doritos with a debit card and effectively held up the shop that way. Oh, now look what we've done. Now the police are here. They've been waiting to do that since the start of the game. That's why there's been a helicopter hovering about our house. Oh, and there's more. Oh, oh. well, we've got one each now. And a look, oh. Why are there always millions of police cars in the city? Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. His belly properties are transferred to his car. Look at him there. I got your back. I'll lose the heat. Stay on the pedal. Well, obviously, I was just going to slow to a stop and then pull over and, you know, come quietly because it's a fair cop. I really don't think they're going to buy this in Palmont City somehow. Yeah, damn right it is. It's a very nice Camaro as well. You know, it's funny, like, everyone loves the- all oh, Everyone loves the police chase elements from, uh, Carbon and Most Wanted. I was kind of the one that didn't. I was the weirdo that really didn't. Like, I was the most low-key guy playing- OH MY- IN THE PLUMS! <laughs> well, the police don't really have a- I've got a bit of an unfair advantage over the police. I think I just demonstrated that. My car is clearly invincible. It's got the infinite mass cheat on from Driver 3. And the police cars are all made of, like, crisp packets. And actual crisps. Because they crash into a car and immediately die. I crash into a car and just keep going. Maximum speed! Look at the... Oh, the speed! What? What's that guy doing? I was like, National Lampoon just veered onto the, uh, veered onto the, the road and was like, actually, do you know what? I don't think pulling out in front of that guy is a very good idea. Yeah, this is kind of what I didn't like about the police chases. You could never just lose them by driving. Like, like in Driver or in GTA, you could... Well, in Drive... Oh, in the plums! Yeah, but oops. <laughs> what is it about me wiping out a police car and then immediately crashing myself? Oh, I've lost them. I have lost the heat. And now we're in cool down mode. Just gonna trundle around for a bit. Return to a safe speed. 45, 50 miles an hour. No one's gonna spot me. Just chilling. I'm just an ordinary commuter coming home from work in the city that never has any daylight in it. <laughs> it's the complete opposite of Most Wanted. Most Wanted never had any nighttime. This place never has any daytime. I dread to think what the citizens' vitamin D levels are like. Okay, hey, uh, but yeah, I don't know what it was about the, the police chasing in these games. I never quite enjoyed it. I think because they could escalate and end up going on for just like ages at a time. And I was like, I just want to do more races now. Can I just lose the police now? Like, as I say, in Driver... Oh, thanks, Satnav. In Driver, you could, you know, outrun them. Like, it didn't go into a set like, oh, the police are always going to rubber band, and the only way to crash into them is in a specific way, and then that will kill them in one shot. Like, it was really weird. Like, in Driver, you could just continue driving like the normal thing, and the physics kind of helped that out. Um, and, of course, in GTA, you could just get out of the car and blow them all up with an RP fucking G. Yeah, this game definitely wasn't perfect. Let's, let's establish the ground rules right now. It was not perfect in any way. 
but I did really, really enjoy this game and got a lot of playtime out of it. Well, we're at the safe house. The laggy safe house, I've got to say. Yo. Darius gave you the safe house. You can use it to fix your car or chill out when the heat's on. You need a wingman and it looks like I'm it. Let me show you inside. Okay, I mean, I mean, I didn't ask you, but you know. We're both in the disgracefully friend zone by the hot woman whose name I still don't know club, so we may as well just be like, yeah, we'll be like team friend zone. Look at him, you can tell he's been friend zoned quite a few times, bless him. Oh, even he, he, he was looking at his belly there, like, oh, did I, did he hear what I said about him? I'm, s Neville, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, can we, can we like, can we like patch things up in our friendship? Uh, set as active, uh, well, yeah, may as well, I, I, it's not like I have any other crew members, so I may as well. Oh, this is the fun bit. This is where we actually make our crew now. Right, so what have we got? There's actually some cool logos in here. Now, what one did I always used to have? I like that one. Spider, skull, sickle, shuriken, shark, scorpion. I, that just looks really... Rooster! Yeah, look at me. I'm such a badass with my rooster. Rat, that was the one. Can we fit Team Bomber Sports in there? We've, it's, we've got to try. Team Bomber Sports! Uh, I guess that'll do. Team Bomber Sports! better than Boomer Spirits from Grand Turismo 4. Okay, you have no rep, but you win a few Oi. races and you'll end up owning an area. Oh, okay. And then I have rep. some some of this mystic rep. Is rep like the currency around here? They don't even like do trade in money. You? What's your rep, you man? Uh, I don't have any rep. Well, you can't buy them cigarettes. Oh, let's do a race to end this uh, first episode. Let's do our first race in career mode. Right. First actual racing happening in this game. Let's all of the wheel spin in the world. I also like using this view as well because you actually hear the car, like in the... All right, come on. Jeez, come on, I'm there, I'm there. Chill out. There we go. Um, yeah, I like the fact that in this game, like, well, in the onboard cameras, because they try to do it realistic how the sound comes out the exhaust pipes, out the tailpipes. If you're on the... Oops! Okay. My Camaro can destroy fire trucks, apparently. It's like playing Burnout Revenge, where you do the, the traffic takedown mode, where you're just obliterating random members of the public into space, which, don't get me wrong, is absolutely hilarious. But it's kind of the same sort of thing here, and it doesn't quite fit as much. It's a bit strange. Not that I'm complaining, because I would have been wasted there, so. And so would my lovely Camaro. Don't want right, Come on. I'm changing down way too quickly for some of these corners. I'm still trying to play it like Gran Turismo. <laughs> I, I tried to do that back in the day. I'd be like, oh, I've got to break and click the apex. And then everyone who I play the game against was like, no, no, you don't. You oh, hello. Whoops. Avoiding a TV van. I've accidentally found a shortcut. That's basically how you find most shortcuts in this game, isn't it? Accidentally avoiding something else or power sliding out of control. And then you go, oh, I didn't crash after all because that was a shortcut. All the wheel spin in the world. Come on. Come on. Yeah, all right. Chill out. I want to know who them, who the random, who installed those random like sprinklers at the side of the road. Here's a checkpoint here. Oh, I missed a shortcut there. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you think, because I'm about to win my first right. Oh, and an epic jump. Whee! Flying through the air. We're rolling in the moonlit skies. My windscreen's totally fucked, but I've just won a race. Oi! Piss off! What are you chatting about? Yeah, I heard you were in town. Hello. Go back where you came from. No, I ain't going back to Dartford. Are you kidding me? I was going to say I liked it, but if it's full of arseholes like you, I think this will just about do it for this first episode of Bomber Sports Plays Need for Speed Carbon. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you'll lock in for this regular series. It should be up on uh, Fridays from here on forward, and then once I've hopefully finished this game, it'll transfer over to NASCAR Heat Evolution if things time out as I think they will, hopefully. And, uh,. Leave a like down below, comment if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you're new around here, and I'll see you guys next time.